Hey everyone, Joe here from buildassetsonline.com and today we're continuing with this FAQ series where I take a look at some of the uh, questions on online business and dropshipping from around the web. Um, I see what people say and then also give my input. So today we're going to be looking at what are um, someone's asking on Quora.com about e-commerce and dropshipping forums and blogs. Um, one of my huge disdains uh, for online business, like the things I, I hate spending time on the most, is forums. Um, and I mean, no offense to anyone who spends time in these forums, of course, like Reddit and stuff like that. But I think in terms of contributing to your actual success, uh, spending time in forums and Facebook groups actually has like a negative uh, impact um, for the most part. I mean, it depends, of course, on the, the community. I think the bigger the community, of course, the worse it is, which is counterintuitive for most people because they see big community, uh, lots of social proof, so it must be a great group. Um, but I think the opposite is true. But let's let's get to the question. So what are some good e-commerce and dropshipping forums and blogs? So this person uh, gives a bunch of answers. Shopify forums, uh, big commerce community forums, press the shop forums, Ask Oberlo, Reddit forums, digital point. Uh, honestly, I haven't really heard of too many of these. The ones I have heard of are Shopify, Big Commerce. We don't use Big, big Commerce. Press to Shop, I've never heard of. Um, Ask. Oh, I know what Oberlo is. Oberlo is that drop shipping AliExpress tool, or sorry, that tool that lets you easily drop ship from AliExpress to Shopify, which we, of course, do not recommend. Um, Reddit forums, um, I think. There's a Reddit e-commerce and then a Reddit dropshipping. And um, so the sh out of all these, I mean, the Shopify forums, uh, let, let, let's have a look at what they have to say. I, again, I haven't really spent too much time on these um, just because I just, I feel like it's a, it's like kind of like a rabbit hole of information and the information isn't all that useful. Um, the, the do the thing that you can learn on Shopify forums that I think are decent is that if you're doing like some of like the tech work on your own, um, going into like the apps or like the design things where you know you're trying to figure out a very specific thing, um, you can ask the forums and sometimes you'll have like um, you know an actual like Shopify guru answer you. But from a business perspective, if you want to be a business owner, you really shouldn't be focusing on like coding stuff. Just get someone reliable um, on Upwork or Fiverr that can do this stuff inexpensively. And, you know, just don't waste your mental energy on like coding and design stuff. I mean, yeah, I do a, a fair bit of it myself just because um, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of started with knowing a little bit how to do it. But um, from a, there's so much stuff that I just, I refuse to do anymore. I like refuse to learn. Like, <laughs> like even if it's like basic HTML, CSS, like I, I refuse to spend my mental energy on it. I'd rather like hire someone on Fiverr for like 10 bucks to, to figure it out for me. So, um, let's just, let's have a look in the Shopify discussion. Important changes. Digital downloads as Shopify limit problem buying new domain like i just i just really don't see how spending time on a forum and reading all these these problems that people have are are going to help you or help move your business forward i i'm just reading through all these custom gift baskets Let, let's see what this is just pick a random one i am looking for some help developing a site for a cheese gift basket for my client would like to have three size options and then a custom and a customer can fill the basket with a set number of items. Is there an app for this or someone who might be interested in working with me? I am a consultant and limit my expertise and the limit of my expertise is working with templates. Um, yeah. So this, this Shopify expert gave a bunch of app suggestions and actually um, bold apps is very good. Um, we, we use their stuff and recommend that if you're doing, you know, s s complicated stuff with your product pages, they do have um, like a variety of apps that are that are good. So it might be good posting on these forums if you have an issue because um, Shopify staff will answer sometimes. Um, but in terms of like reading them and trying to garner knowledge from them, I'm just 
I'm just looking through it. I'm not really seeing Facebook ads, traffic, but no sales. Ooh, that's a that's a big surprise. <laughs> I'm j- I'm being sarcastic for the for the new viewers. Uh, we don't we like we hate Facebook ads uh, on this channel. Hate is a bit of a strong word. We like to use them in very limited circumstances for our e-commerce stores, uh, namely only for retargeting. Um, just just simply because. Um, yeah. Okay. So th- this is what I'm talking about on the forums. I run Facebook conversion ads to this product page. This product got about 200 visitors a day. I don't get any abandoned carts and of course no sales. I don't understand why. My store is well designed with the booster theme. I am a newbie to e-commerce. Can someone help me find a reason to um of what I'm doing wrong? So I'm gonna, we're going to look at this site in a second, but this is just my personal opinion. I have a cat, but unsure what your target audience is. Part of me thinks that the actual moment, part of me thinks about the actual moment of me trying to, trying to stuff Bill, my cat into it. I will have no chance. It's hard enough with the standard crate. Then I check your delivery times and it's too long. So I'm guessing this guy is doing some AliExpress drop shipping and he wants to know why he's not getting any sales. It seems like, yeah. That's exactly what he's doing. Um, and again, we talk about this over and over. Oh, speaking of pets, my uh, dog is barking. We talk about this over and over and over again. Um, if you're not getting the right people to your site at the correct time, you're not going to get customers. So you're targeting, I don't know exactly what this guy is doing, but he's targeting a bunch of people on Facebook um, I'm guessing they, you know, they, Facebook says they like maybe some cat stuff or something like that, or maybe they uh, are in like a pet, you know, they, Facebook has some data that they own cats. So they're trying to, um, so he's trying to, to target them, but like, who's going to buy a cat carrier pouch, uh, on a whim? Like there, there is a, there is a funnel and a discovery process to where you want to target people who are actually looking for a cat carrier pouch. And people on Facebook, they're there to chat, socialize with their friends, you know, maybe uh, flame each other over politics a little bit. But I just don't think it's your ideal audience for trying to sell, to trying to cold sell a cat carrier pouch. So I just, yeah, again, you know, to these forum, I just don't know what value is going to come out of these forums. Like this guy is saying, I am using the same theme and have the same problem. The problem that happens is that these forums, they just have, oh God. And this guy is recommending that you use newsletter pop-up, web push notifications, uh, loyalty rewards programs. Like this guy is, I guess, just, I don't know if he's, um, let's see, is this the stuff that is like, do they have apps like this? Um, yeah, there you go. So yeah, they're trying to push notification at me now. So this guy is just saying, yeah, just use my apps and, and you'll be, you know, you're going to, you're going to put, install this tool before you're running more ads. But what, what these people on the forum are missing is that, like I said, you got to be getting the right customer when they're looking for the stuff you want to buy. It doesn't matter. You can have the worst design site. Like this site actually, I mean, it looks pretty good. Like, it looks okay. I'm not, I mean, there are things about the design that would definitely change, things I would do differently, but that's not what's holding back the conversion that of this guy. This guy just doesn't have the right customers. He's not getting in front of the right people. Um, and that's, that's so that's what it comes down to, guys, is these, these forums are so, they're filled with so many people and you're going to get such a wide variety uh, of opinions from people that have no idea like how, like what you're talking about. I mean, I mean, what, what they're talking about, like, or, or they're just trying to sell you their, their tools. I mean, obviously, you know, there's a little bit of a, a moral hazard here, guys, because anyone who's giving you advice online is probably like selling something. And obviously we, we sell a course. So, so um, but, I, but at the same time, I, I am trying to give you the best information um like like possible and like like i'm trying to see what this guy's problem is and give you a solution to it but and i think it just takes a little bit of critical thinking to figure out what the right answer is so like think about when you've bought stuff online like i think 
in order to understand why your e-commerce store is not doing well, um, think about how you shop online. Just because someone says that, or that you know, I, I drove, I had this Ali, I had this, this Shopify store with AliExpress items on it. I drove Facebook ads to it, and I got a viral product, and a bunch of people bought some stuff. You know, think to yourself, like, do you ever shop like that? Does anyone in your family or your friend circle ever shop like that? I mean. I think most of the time the answer is no. Like the way people shop is they know what they're looking for. Maybe they're doing a little bit of research beforehand. They know what they're looking for. They shop around for the best, um, you know, price and like the best product that like of the category of what they're looking for. So if you were looking for a cat carrier, I know like my wife, um, you know, she bought a similar thing for our dog. It was like a dog backpack. <laughs> And it was like a week of, of research, first figuring out that we needed the dog backpack and then figuring out like, okay, this one has these kind of holes on these on this side. Um, this one's got these compartments. So uh, there's always a buying process. And a lot of people with these Facebook ads and the advice you're going to see on these forums, uh, they make it – they, they make it too complicated. It's just about getting that, that right customer. And again – you shouldn't even be uh, like it, it doesn't provide any value to go on this forum and read why this guy has no sales. And, and I'm not like trying to poke fun at these people at all. I'm just giving you my my honest uh, my honest feedback here. So yeah, uh, that's about it, guys. I mean, we can have a look at some more of these forums. We could let's just have a look at the Reddit one real quick. Yeah, let's just have a look at the Reddit e-commerce forum real quick. <sighs> How does someone create these kinds of products domestically? In-house shipping workflows. I got my ad approved. Like, again, guys, if you're, if you're trying to build a business, an online business, I, I just I don't see how these these forums provide any sort of value. What I would do if I were you, instead of spending time on the forums and and you know just starting from the beginning, you don't know much about e-commerce, first, I would look at like go on a, a brokerage site like Empire Flippers, go on Flippa. Flippa is a little bit you know iffy in terms of like uh, sometimes I, I don't really use it much so you might have to like do a little bit more of a deeper dive to see which sites are legit. Before you start an e-commerce business or any sort of business, look into what businesses are selling. I mean, you can even read the content of like Empire Flippers and all, you know, all all the places that actually sell legitimate online businesses and figure out like what business models actually work, what business models do companies want to invest in. So, um you know, we've sold high ticket drop shipping stores. Um, high ticket drop shipping stores sell um, affiliate marketing blogs. Sell blogs that have you know ad space on them that show display ads. They sell. There are you know, software as a service businesses. They sell. There are a handful of business models that clearly sell online. So you know, research what those are and carve out your path from there. And then once once you figure out what you want to do, I would get one course, um, whether it be our course or, or someone else, and really stick to the steps in that course that you're following until you get some sort of success with, with that business model. If you're trying to put together information on, on forums, you're really just going to be running around in circles, like trying to put together a puzzle that you really don't even know um, where the pieces are. So anyway, I hope this video wasn't too rambly for you guys. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, um, please hit that like and subscribe if you if you enjoyed it. And be sure to always check out our free course, the Online Assets Playbook, where we kind of break down the online business models and show you how to build an online business portfolio from the ground up. Um, so that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next one after I stop the video. <laughs> see ya.